Well, this week, the topic that seems to be on everybody's mind is how to perform a, write a formula uh, in Excel. So that's going to be our topic tonight. So I have my data set here of uh, blood pressures and I have a whole bunch of blood pressures and a couple of different types of variables. So I'm going to start with a real simple one here for you. So I have some baseline systolic and diastolic pressures and then we ran a blood pressure program and then I have follow-up systolic and diastolic pressures. So then I was able to create a formula for the change in blood pressures, both the systolic and the diastolic. And you can see in the formula bar up here my, my formula. So the first thing you always want to do, so I'll go back here and pretend I've never, never done this formula. So the first thing you always want to do, go into the cell that you want the formula to be in and go up to this, it's called the formula bar. The first step always so that Excel knows that you want to do a formula is hit the equal sign. And then start typing in the name of the formula. So in this case, it's a real simple, it's actually a subtraction problem. So you can either go sum or you could do product. Either way, either way you're going to get the same result. So let's do sum. So, and you, so you can see here Excel is trying to figure out, hmm, I wonder what they're trying to do. So, and sum is it. So you just, once you get, if it's a long word, you can start, um, you can just select it if you, or you can type the whole word in. And then of course you want to select your ranges. Another thing that Excel has done is they kind of walk you through how to do this. So we have sum number one. So our number one is cell B2. So you can just type in B2 and it'll highlight it so you know you got the right cell. And if you're adding, you can do the comma. Uh, but in this case, we're actually subtracting. So I'm going to hit the the uh, the minus sign with the subtraction sign. And we want to uh, compare it to D2. So D2. So now both of the cells. You always want to close your cell and I have my my formula here and it's 12 125 minus 113 equals 12 so we got our formula right and I don't know if you noticed earlier but I actually had this set up as product uh, and now if you notice I have an autocorrect options on so if you notice here all of these cells all the way down through about 4,000 records now say sum, but it still comes up to the same um, same thing here. Whereas in this case, it's product, but it's the same thing. It's subtracting um, this number from this number. Pretty easy, pretty basic.